Hey everybody, welcome to Cooking with Chris. I am your host, Chef Chris McPhee. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make a really simple recipe called One Bite Brownie. This recipe is unique in that it consists of completely raw ingredients. Uh, no gluten, no dairy, no um, sugar, um, basically nothing that's going to be bad for your body or your digestion is going to be going into the recipe. So, very easy to make, uh, very easy to consume, they're going to be really delicious. And uh, I'll get started here. So, this recipe is entirely made using a food processor. I have my Black & Decker system set up here for me. And let me go through the ingredients real quick with you. We have vanilla bean powder. This product, uh, you might have a hard time finding this in your local grocery store. Uh, if you live here in Vancouver, you can locate it at Organic Foods on the Drive, uh, Commercial Drive. They have it. I'm not aware of any other place that sells this particular product. Uh, vanilla bean powder, really great for a lot of different recipes, completely raw. We have raw cacao. Again, I got this at Organics on the Drive. This is uh, probably fairly a lot more easy to find in your local organic store. Raw cacao, so it's basically cocoa powder, but it hasn't been processed, completely raw. We have shredded coconut for the garnish. We have 14 or approximately 3 quarters of a cup of dates. one and a half cups of walnuts. Walnuts, like many other seeds and nuts, are amazing uh, brain food. One cool particular thing about walnuts is that their shape is similar to um, looking like the human brain. So there's a bit of connection there. Walnuts look like a brain, good for your brain. Eat them. Here I have half a cup of the raw cacao powder. So, also have a pinch of salt. So, extremely easy. All I'm going to be doing is combining the ingredients in my food processor and go with the dates. For the walnuts, and go the dates. In goes the cacao powder. Vanilla bean powder. The recipe calls for one half to one teaspoon. Um, that's a rough guideline, really. I wouldn't worry about measuring that exactly. Here I have a two tablespoon measure, and I'll be putting about one third of that. So definitely a little more than the recipe calls for, but I love vanilla. Who doesn't? So that's fine. A little bit of salt. There we have it. I'm going to quickly process this. So the consistency that we're looking for here is the, we'll give it the pinch test. If I squeeze it together like so, will it hold its form? And right now, it's a bit crumbly. So what I'll actually do is add a few dates to the mixture to, uh, to gum it up a little bit and get that consistency that I'm looking for. Here I have my dates. I actually got these at Famous Foods on Kingsway here in Vancouver. Throw in another five or six or so. Process that. Now we'll give it the pinch test again. And as you can see now, and I can feel that there's there's noticeable moisture in the mixture, and when I form a ball it holds its form quite easily. And so that's essentially it. So what you want to do is roll them up into 
balls like so, or you could make little squares, a la brownie squares. Like so. Take their coconut image, squish it around in that. And there we have it. One by Brownies. Hey everybody, I just wanted to mention that these brownies are, they go well in the freezer. So you can see I've molded a bunch here. I'll just stick them in the freezer on this plate as is and uh, pull them out a couple hours later and then I'll bag them up inside a freezer lock bag. So there you have it. One by Brownies. Helpful raw food. Enjoy. See you next time.